Let's start with this. Who are you? Yeah, that's definitely Miss Young. This was the last simulation exam that I would be in charge of this year. And Gao Kao, the real one, would be coming up next for my students. I unintentionally let out a sigh upon realizing this. The most stressful time of being a head teacher was the senior year. Time was always tight and the job was difficult. To make things worse, I still had to watch over these pubescent and rebellious teenagers. Some of them might be over 18, but mentally they are still all just kids. Back in my school days, I had only heard about so-called young love and have barely seen any student couples. Nowadays, student couples weren't even something worth mentioning. Love triangles, gay relationships, teacher-student relationships, all kinds of stuff can happen nowadays. Well, I suppose I was already too old to understand kids these days. All I could wish for right now was for them to graduate as planned and to leave me a decent graduation rate. I need to go and take a good vacation after the exam. The exams had been handed out and everyone was ready to begin. The bell rang. I walked around the classroom and sat back in the chair next to the lectern. I had been having trouble standing too long for these days. Maybe I had been too tired, or it was just a natural part of getting older. The room felt stuffy, the cicadas outside the window were very noisy. I looked outside the window, lost in my thoughts. Somebody coughed loudly. My mind was pulled back. Li Wen looked a little nervous and her eyes were drifting all over the place. Very few students ever realized how good the view was from up here. I didn't go towards her directly, instead I walked out of the classroom and circled behind her through the door in the back of the room. I realized that she was copying Jimmy's answers. I left a note. I told Lee Wen to come and meet me in the tutoring room after school. I intended to talk to her about her cheating. I had no intention of reporting it to the school. I had been teaching her since freshman year in middle school. She had been through a lot so I had always looked out for her. While her grades were never the best, her character was beyond reproach. She was not that kind of student. She hadn't arrived yet. I stood in front of the window, watching the clouds gathering over the track field. It might rain tonight. I, rem I remember the last time I had seen W. It had also been raining that evening. He had asked me to meet him in a coffee shop. He told me that he had gotten cancer and might not have much longer to live. He decided to resign from the school and leave Beijing, maybe even leave the country, at least for a while. He asked me to keep it a secret, and if possible to take care of all the relevant matters when he was gone. I didn't know what else to say, so I just asked him what he was going to do. I also contacted a doctor I knew and asked him if there were any other feasible treatment plans. Later he told me he had other things to take care of and said goodbye. I watched quietly as he walked away. As soon as he walked out of the coffee shop, I buried my head on the table and cried. I had always been so self-righteous and self-centered. I wanted to think of and do everything for him, yet I had never thought about or asked him what he would have wanted me to do. That must be why I had to watch him leave over and over again. When we had been kids, our families lived next to each other. We had known each other for as long as I could remember. He was always playing alone in kindergarten. He was never bullied or isolated or anything like that. He was just too smart and too different compared to the other kids of his age. We had gone to the same elementary school, same high school and the same college. No matter where we were, he was always the best at what he did. And I had always been so proud to be his best friend. We would call each other by just one letter as our nickname. He was W, I was Y. After we had graduated from college, he went on to study abroad and I started working. I really wanted to go with him but I didn't feel that we were close enough to broach this idea. So we parted ways, and we began to lose touch once he met his girlfriend abroad. It was many years later when we finally met again. He had lost his fiancée, and his spirit had gone with her. His life had become a mess. I nervously suggested he come teach at my school. When he finally agreed to come, I was so happy. Something blossomed again in my heart. However, nothing more happened between us. We could be childhood friends who could talk about almost anything with each other, but we could never become more than friends. I never had the courage to tell him how I really felt or how I had always felt. I was afraid that if I ever did it, if I ever did, it would have cost us our current relationship. I just wanted to stay beside him, talk with him and laugh with him. Years had gone by. 
That free word spell that I had hidden inside my heart kept getting buried deeper and deeper. But I had never lost its power. It was just getting harder and harder for me to speak those words out loud. I felt myself slowly turning into an utter fool. But I couldn't help myself. Li Wen had finally come. I didn't ask her the reason for cheating, I just told her to come to the group study session. No matter why she had cheated, the study session could only help. But I suddenly realized. I was being my usual self again. I was making decisions for her without asking her about it. I could have simply asked her to tell me why she had cheated. I supposed I couldn't I just couldn't change myself. Right? Yang Ying. Okay. Formula note and answers. After being hospitalized for gastritis, I learned from Mr. Wen that he had never blamed me for the photo incident. He and I were able to go back to how things were like nothing had happened. Occasionally some fools in the school would still gossip about us, but I had learned to stop caring and pretend to not hear them at all. As Gao Kao kept getting closer and closer, everyone, including these gossiping idiots, had to focus on the exam. Even my life had turned into a constant migration between classroom and home. I barely went to the tennis court anymore. Before we knew it, the final simulation exam was upon us. A sense of anxiety filled the entire school. Rumor had it that if anybody screwed up on a simulation exam, he or she would be required to stay in school for an intensive study session until two days before Gao Kao. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> it was lunch break. Everyone was sitting in their own seats trying to study for one last time. My phone suddenly buzzed. A text from Jing. Breaking news, Mr. Wen resigned last week. Stop. I couldn't believe my eyes and I turned around to look at her. She made a sad face. How could it be? The art class had been cancelled for the last two weeks. I'd also been hitting the book, so I didn't realize that I indeed hadn't seen him for a while until just now. When I went to my balcony, the lights had always been off in his apartment. I thought he had simply been going to bed early. The exam began in the afternoon. I looked at the paper in my hands, but all I could see was random gibberish that was jumping all over the place. All I could think about was Mr. Wen's resignation. Jimmy was really going at it. Half of his papers were hanging off at the side of his desk. A thought that had never occurred to me appeared in my head. Should I just copy it? But I had never cheated in my entire life. But if I didn't, I would have to stay in detention for extra study sessions after school. I didn't want to stay, I just wanted to go back home as soon as I could. I took a peek at Miss Young. She seemed to be lost in her own thoughts. I made up my mind and decided to copy Jimmy's answers. I never knew that Jimmy was such a genius. No one ever paid much attention to him. I was writing down all of his answers when I felt a tap on my shoulder. Oh no. I had been caught. A note had been left on my desk asking me to go to the tutoring room after school. After school, Miss Young met me in the tutoring room. She said nothing about the cheating. She only asked me to stay for the study sessions. During the session, I kept staring at my phone, hoping that he would respond to my messages. Nothing. It was 11 p.m. when I got home. I knocked on his door softly. No response. I went to check his balcony. The lights were still off. I sat on the floor with my back against the door, thinking that I would be able to hear him if he came back in the middle of the night. 1 a.m. 2 a.m. It began to rain outside the window. 3 a.m. 4 a.m. It was almost morning. What should I do if I still couldn't find him tomorrow? I suddenly had a bad feeling. Would I never be able to see him again? Li Wen. Alright, let's get to it. Uh, oh. Well, anything down here is all? No, okay. That's getting quite complicated. Um. Okay, let's turn these two around. I can technically... No, I can't, but... Oh, these are twos. I didn't see that. <laughs> Dark red on black isn't exactly the most obvious. Oh. Hmm. That might work. 
Yeah. I took a peek, at, a peek at Miss Young. She was looking out of the window and seemed to be lost in her own thoughts. What was she thinking about? Could it also be about Mr. Wen's resignation? Uh, why the hell was I thinking about that? I was such an idiot. I stared at the paper as hard as I could, but I still couldn't focus. How pathetic. What should I do? If only there was something to help me focus on the exam. The time for the exam soon ran out. I could already see myself sitting in a mandatory study session after school. I left a note. After school, Miss Yang came into the tutoring room as expected. Anything I can help you with? Well, Miss Yang, do you know why Mr. Wen resigned? Miss Yang gave me a look. I thought you were about to ask me about your grades this time. Take a look at your own paper. I picked it up. It was a disaster. I honestly don't know what is going through your kids' minds these days. Miss Young gave me quite a tongue lashing. That sucked. Okay. Just when my mind came back from wondering, the bell signaling the end of the exam had just rung. Everything had gone well. A note had been left on my desk asking me to go to the tutoring room after school. After school, I came to the tutoring room as Lee Wen had asked. I knew many senior students were going through a lot of pressure, but there were probably less than 10 students who would be willing to talk to their teachers about it. Nevertheless, I was thrilled that Li Wen had come looking for me. However, she was not here to, to discuss the pressure of the exam or going to college. Instead, she asked me about W's abrupt resignation. I was a little unprepared, but I still remembered my promise to him. I cleared my thoughts, took out her test from today and showed it to her. I had to let her know that Gao Kao was right upon us. It was the only thing that mattered right now. She should not be thinking about anything else. Definitely not that. Her face turned red and white and red again. I could still feel the awkwardness in the air after she had left the room. I knew I might be breaking her heart, but I had to do it. W would have done the same. Okay. So, um... That should solve it. I realized that, like, the second I started reading Li Wen's letter, a thought that had never occurred to me appeared in my head. Should I just copy it? But I had never cheated in my entire life. But if I didn't, I would have to stay in detention for extra study session sessions after school. Yep. You see, I'm lost in her thoughts. Jimmy's a genius in some, ex <laughs> some aspects. The time for the exam soon, soon ran out. I took out another exercise book after the exam, but my mind wasn't in it. I left a note. After school, Miss Young came into the tutoring room as expected. I confessed to her about everything involved in cheating on the exam. She crossed her arms in front of her and stared into my eyes. Why did you do it? Because I couldn't solve any of the problems. She kept staring at me with an even more intense look. It wasn't a hard exam, at least not for you. I, I couldn't focus and I have somewhere that I have to be tonight so I was worried about having to stay for study sessions. I couldn't think of any convincing lies right on the spot so I told Miss Young the truth about everything. About why I couldn't solve the problems. About why I was unwilling to stay after school. Even the truth about him. I fell into silence when I finished. I grabbed onto my skirt tightly and lowered my head. I couldn't look Miss Young in the eyes. Aren't you neighbors? You should be able to see him anytime you want, right? I... I just have a feeling that I have to. I must see him as soon as I can. Otherwise I might... I had no idea what I was talking about. But Miss Young laughed. She was laughing, but tears were coming out of her eyes. Kids these days, I'm really envious of you. You know what? I guess you could call it a sixth sense. Mr. Wen, he's got cancer. Miss Young wiped away her tears. Stomach cancer. Late stage. That is probably an S, even though it doesn't sound like one. Just when my mind came back from wondering, the bell signaling the end of the exam had just rung. Everything had gone well. A note had been left on my desk asking me to go to the tutoring room after school. After school, I came to the tutoring room as Lee Wen had asked. I knew many senior students were going through a lot of pressure, 
but there were probably less than 10 students who would be willing to talk to their teachers about it. Nevertheless, I was thrilled that Li Wen had come looking for me. We were chatting casually about the day's test when she suddenly started crying. She was sobbing when she told me that it, she had cheated during the exam. What surprised me most was her reason. I was at a loss. Once upon a time, I might have had the same honesty and courage as she had. But at some point, I turned into this middle-aged woman who would be gossiping about other people in the office. I knew it was just a waste of time. I knew those fake compliments we kept telling each other meant absolutely nothing. But I still locked myself into this mundane life, day after day after day. That day, Li Wen and I talked so much like we were truly best friends. About cheating. About Gao Kao. And about W. Sorry W. I broke my promise. Wait, what? How is that an E rank and that bad? That sounded like the best ending possible. What? What about this? What does that do? A thought that had never occurred to me appeared in my head. Should I just copy it? Mm hmm. Go on. Miss Young lost her thoughts, made up my mind. <laughs> Time ran out. Mm hmm. <laughs> she told me I did exceptionally well this time and encouraged me to keep it up. She even told me that if I needed any advice or help with anything else in life, I should feel free to come talk to her. I kept thinking about her words on my way home. That was the first time she had ever said something like that to me. It felt a little strange. It wasn't too late when I got home. I knocked on his door softly. No response. I sent him some more texts. No response either. His lights were off the whole evening too. I'm gonna be slightly angry if that's an S. Just when my mind came back from wondering the bell signaling the end of the exam had just rung. Mm -hmm. I asked Lee Wen to come and meet me in the tutoring room after school. Mm -hmm. Lee Wen had been through a lot with her own family. I had decided to give her some encouragement before Gao Kao. We greeted each other. I told her she had done well on today's test and to keep it up for Gao Kao in a few days. She was barely paying attention though. She seemed distracted and she wasn't following the conversation the whole time. I figured I had said what I wanted to say, so I sent her off. And then I saw her from the window, running out of the school like an innocent little deer. That kid. She didn't have a worry in the world, did she? Well, W, I will make sure to keep my promise. That's an A rank for both. Honestly, I think the previous one that said E and bad was a lot better as an ending than this. Alright. Let me just see how many... Oh god, there's so many endings. How are there so many endings? Okay. Hmm. Wait, there's one, two, three. So that leaves me with... I can have three... Zero. There's one... I can probably have like six options here and then combined with these that's okay I can see how there's so many different endings what about just not cheating I guess <laughs> um okay I don't know <laughs> go for it I guess I took a peek at Miss Young. She was looking out of the window and seemed to be lost in her own thoughts. Mm. Mm -hmm. If only there was something to help her focus, but there was nothing. Mm -hmm. That's... I mean, it's not a plot hole or anything like that, but how can... Miss Young leave a note on her desk like at the point that the exam was finished like she she totally didn't have the time to look through the exams yet 
how would you, how would you know that Lee Wen did poorly, except for maybe if she handed in the blank paper? But you know, yep. Mhm. Mm okay, this is just not gonna change, isn't it? Yep, it's gonna sit on the floor. Time is gonna go, and nothing will happen. Okay, I doubt there'll be anything relevant or new here either. She did unusually poorly today, almost dropping to the bottom of the class. It was very unusual. Mm-hmm, and I guess the rest is going to be just about the same. No, it actually isn't. However, no matter how hard I scolded her, she was barely paying attention. Other than the occasional yes and hmm, she didn't look like she was listening at all, not to mention self-reflecting. I supposed I shouldn't go overboard either. I figured I had said what I wanted to say, so I sent her back to the group study session. I shouldn't wind her up too tight. Okay, being bad. Hmm. What about this? Okay, that's C and bad. Okay, no, you're not cheating. That? Nope, C and bad. What about just turning those around? B and bad. Okay, that's new. I took a peek at Miss Young and she was staring right back at me. I was so startled that I almost jumped and suddenly I could understand the question on the exam again. Thank goodness. Whatever, I needed to finish the exam first before worrying about anything else. If I screwed this up, I wouldn't be able to go anywhere after school. A note had been left on my desk asking me to go to the tutoring room after school. After school, Miss Young was waiting for me in the tutoring room. She told me I did exceptionally well this time and encouraged me to keep it up. She even told me that if I needed any advice or help with anything else in life, I should feel free to come talk to her. Mm-hmm. That was the first time she'd ever said something like that to me. It felt a little strange. It wasn't too late when I got home. Yeah, and then there's gonna be no response. I looked at Lee Wen, who was sitting by the window, and she was looking back at me too. She should be focusing on her test. I shook my head and signaled to her to get back to the test. She lowered her head. Half an hour later, the exam was over. I left a note. I asked Lee Wen to come and meet me in the tutoring room after school. I knew many senior students were going through a lot of pressure. Yep. Mm -hmm. We greeted each other. I told her she had done well on today's test and to keep it up for Gao Kao in a few days. She was barely paying attention though. She, was, she seemed distracted and she wasn't following the conversation the whole time. I figured I had said what I wanted to say, so I sent her off. Mm -hmm. That's still an A rank. What about the other way around for this? I looked at Li Wen, who was sitting by the window. And she was looking back at me too. Mm hmm. Half an hour later, the exam was over. A note had been left on my desk asking me to go to the tutoring room after school. After school, I came to the tutoring room as Lee Wen had asked. I knew many senior students were going through a lot of pressure. Mm hmm. Not here to discuss the pressure of the exam. I was a little unprepared, but I still remembered my promise to him. I made up something on the spot, telling her that he had gone travelling abroad. Her eyes lit up when she heard my lie. She asked me a few other questions about schoolwork before she eventually left. She was very polite and nice the whole time, but the moment she closed the door, I saw her turn around and run away so fast that her hair was flying behind her. And then I saw her from the window, running out of the school like an innocent and joyful little deer. For a moment, I thought I had just seen my younger self. Hmm. Okay. That reaction, I feel like that's a little bit strange, but okay. Let's see what her reasoning is behind it. Mm-hmm. 
if I screwed this up, I wouldn't be able to go anywhere after school. I left a note. Anything I can help you with? Well, Miss Young, do you know why Mr. Wen resigned? Miss Young gave me a look. Oh, him. He said he wanted to go and travel abroad for a little while. He said he'd come back in a month. Okay, that part you didn't mention. That part for, for a while, and did he come back in a month? That is news. You went traveling abroad? For a month? Gao Kao would be over by then. I was still hoping I could ask him for advice on what colleges to apply to. Although, as long as I could still see him, it would be okay. Meanwhile, I need to work hard for that one last exam. Alright. She doesn't look like I imagined her to look. Three years after school. Okay, so this is probably then the last letter from Li Wen. Let's just go for that now. Three years after school. Three years had gone by since I graduated from high school. College wasn't what I had expected it to be. In my imagination, college was supposed to be a place where ambitious and hopeful young people could better themselves before they entered the real world. In reality, it was more like an amusement park. Most people never thought about their future. The professors barely cared whether anybody was even listening to the lectures. Rather than teaching the students, they usually cared more about how much funding they could get for their own private projects. Even the library didn't have many good books. Instead, it was more of a hotspot for young couples to go make out. I no longer even went to campus anymore. I might as well not even study at home. My friends were all super cool. Every few days they would host a party at my place. We did karaoke, cooked hot pot, and called for fried chicken deliveries. My room was always full of the smell of cigarettes and beer. A life like this had made me lose the concept of time. It also helped with alleviating my feelings of loneliness. I lay down on my couch and slowly fell asleep. These days, I had been sleeping on my couch more often than in my bed. Mr. Wen walked up to the couch and gently took my hands. I opened my eyes. I didn't go to campus today either. After graduating from high school, I never saw Mr. Wen again. I would often imagine that he would suddenly appear by my side, just like the day of the art exhibition. He would even show up in my dreams sometimes, but he never did show up for real. Every time I asked Miss Young about him, she would always stop herself before saying a word. I stopped asking after a while. I knew I would probably never know where Mr. Wen was, but I hoped that he was doing great. Because the early summer that we had spent together would always be the best season of my life. Li Wen. Okay. Mm. This looks like an S. I rubbed my eyes. It was Miss Young, not him. I must have not been totally awake. I climbed off of the couch, went into the kitchen and helped Miss Young with dinner. I was a repeating senior student this year. Because of a stomach ache, I had, had to miss one of the exams during Gao Kao. I was going to give up on going, co going to college altogether, but Miss Young spent a long time convincing me to give it another try. Concerned about me being alone again, Miss Young had moved in next door to help take care of me. She was living in the apartment that Mr. Wen used to live in. After Gao Kao, Mr. Wen had vanished from my life entirely. I would often imagine that if I started to give up on myself, maybe he would come back into my life to stop me from ruining it. it would, I would be willing to wait for one year, two years, three years, even longer, as long as he would come back. I had been thinking about this so much that I even dreamt about it, all the time. In the end, he was probably just a passerby in my life. Look, there's a tennis match. Miss Young put the remote down. It was the 4D gate open. One of the finalists was a Chinese player. Father used to like him a lot. He would always watch his matches. Not only was he a tennis genius, he was also incredibly popular on the internet. He was young and handsome, came from a rich family and had a professional team handling his business off the court. Besides the astronomical prize money from his matches, his sponsorships were even more lucrative. Every time he went onto a talk show with his beautiful female assistant, he would receive more than tens of thousands in payment. Lots of people were always posting about him online. They adored him like he was a pop idol. 
Miss Young kept staring at the TV while pouring some soy sauce on her noodles. Since you like tennis so much, have you ever thought about going into a career that has something to do with it? My chopsticks stopped for a moment. Maybe. A C. Okay. Um, what about this? I climbed off of the couch and turned on the TV. I handed Mr. Wen a can of beer and got myself one. The evening news was on. It was about the wedding ceremony of a tennis player that was incredibly popular for a while now. A few days ago he had just announced that he was retiring from tennis. He also announced that he was getting married to his longtime female assistant, who used to be a tennis player too. I was quite shocked when I saw the name of his fiancée on the screen. Kin Suyue. That couldn't just be a coincidence. Ever since I was old enough to remember, I had never seen my mother. Father had only mentioned her once, but I had never ever forgotten her name. I would always thought that tennis was just a hobby from when father was younger. He watched the games all the time and he also had a yellow racket in storage. Under his influence I started practicing tennis too, and the yellow racket was the first one I had ever used. Now that I thought about it, the only matches father had ever watched all had the same person in them. He wasn't watching the game, he was only watching mother. And that racket must have belonged to her too. I chugged the beer and looked to Mr. Wen, who was supposed to be sitting at the table. Except, there was no one but me at the table. The beer can I had handed over was just sitting there. The hot pot in front of me was filled with overcooked vegetables and meatballs. The trash can nearby was stuffed with my yellow tennis racket and several bags of fried chicken that I had not even taken a bite of. I hunched over the table and burst out crying. Okay. Bad, maybe, but certainly very informative. Uh, oops. I didn't mean to do that, but it's a new ending, so go on. I had another dream. I climbed off of my couch. I changed into my exercise clothes, picked up my racket and headed out. I was a repeating senior student this year. Because of a stomach ache, I'd had to miss one of the exams during Gaokao. I was going to give up on college altogether. Mm hmm. Yep. Willing to wait for as long as it takes. The lights over the tennis court was maintained by some of the residents themselves. The dim light bulb kept making a buzzing noise. One, two, three. I just hit all 30 of the balls that I had, so I picked up the now empty basket. I walked to the other side of the court and collected the balls before hitting them all again. Out of curiosity, is that one by one the same phrasing as in her first message? Because it sounds so familiar, it's also the same background, but I don't know if it's exactly the same or if it's slightly changed up. No one else was on the tennis court. All I could hear was the sound of the balls hitting my racket and then bouncing off the ground. I see. Uh, bad. I definitely did that before, yeah. Bad. Um, okay. C. Uh, what haven't I done yet? Have I done that yet? Oh, I've, I've done all of them. Okay.